from MTN News, this is Montana This Morning. Dan and I jumped uh, kind of under a car. We didn't go completely under, but we, we, got, we got in a spot where we thought we were safe. Good morning, Southwest Montana. Peter Parker <laughs> popping out a little yep. bit more at the Just 630 this morning. to crawl its way back across the screen. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, it looks beautiful. Uh, yeah, I had to get out and take a look for himself, apparently. Absolutely. Yeah, beautiful <laughs> morning. Wow. Ashley, thank you for joining us this morning. Great to be here. Yeah, Great but, to be here. A couple uh, coffees in, minus spilling it on the desk at the mm, 5 o'clock hour. Yeah, that's all right. It happens to the best of us. <laughs> happens to the best of us. Uh, temperatures today into the 50s. A couple of areas a little cooler out toward West Yellowstone, mid to upper 30s this morning, but 40 and 50s the main rule of thumb for the morning. Uh, we are seeing the potential some showers and thunderstorms developing a little later today. In fact, some of those storms may be fairly intense. After about one or two, we'll start to see those thunder showers trying to work their way across the area. And again, uh, just pay attention because these are pop up thunder showers and uh, pop up. They will. We'll <laughs> see uh, small to moderate hail, gusty wind uh, our main concerns for today, but daytime highs continue to build this week. We'll talk more about that extended forecast. We'll look at your weekend coming up in just a few minutes. We will see you in a bit. 631 now the suspect in the Independence Day parade shooting in Illinois is expected to appear in court today. Robert Cremo is facing seven counts of first degree murder. Prosecutors say more charges will be fire, filed later. They plan to ask the judge to hold the 21 year old without bond. Former Bozeman Schools Deputy Superintendent Steve Johnson and his wife were in Highlands Park at the parade with their daughter and family when the shots rang out. They spoke with MTN's Judy Slate. Right away, I knew someone was shooting. I just remember hitting the deck and looking for my family. Kevin Cumling snapped this picture right before the gunman opened fire at the July 4th parade in Highland Park. His in-laws, Steve and Dana Johnson, are in the foreground. You can see his two-year-old son waving towards the parade. It felt like a bullet went kind of right past my head. My ear was ringing really loud and I felt like a burn on my arm. And so it, it wasn't, it, it was just a little piece of fragment of something that stuck up in my right arm. One of those moments where you never think it's going to happen to you and and uh, and it's really surreal the time that it's happening and you're not really thinking or processing. You're just trying to make sure your family's safe. Police say 70 rounds were fired into the crowd. My wife went into mom mode and she was gathering the kids and we couldn't find our one of our daughters at first. Um, and our, our oldest daughter ran and grabbed her and brought her into the store. And uh, and so my wife took the kids and they they barricaded up in a bathroom and uh, locked the door. Dan and I jumped uh, kind of under a car. Did we didn't go completely under it, but we we got we got in a spot where we thought we were safe because we knew, like Kevin said, it, the shots were coming from and, and it fi we figured it was a rooftop behind us. When I could see what was going on with uh, people being shot and and little ones and it just was it was a war zone well, your natural instincts i think take over it's like you know the nine-year-old grabbing the six-year-old and bringing her inside and the you know mom taking care of her kids and us taking care of each other the gunfire stopped the family reunited all of them safe the hardest part now the impact of the shooting on kevin and danelle's nine-year-old daughter every time fireworks went off she was i slept next to her and she'd wake up in fear and uh <clears throat> and she'd start throwing up and and she'd think that people were shooting at her and she just said dad i don't i don't understand how somebody had that much evil in their heart uh to want to shoot it at uh kids and families and their parents that, just trying to enjoy the 4th of July. Counselors and other support are available in the small town of Highland Park, but it will take a long time for life to return to normal. We walked over to a nearby park um, with our grandson that, you know, hit some golf balls. And I mean, I can tell you, you know, I'll come on all the way over there. I'm looking over my shoulder just, you know, I mean, I know we're safe, I, I but it's still, it's like, you know, you, it makes you think you got to, you got to be really, uh, aware of, of your surroundings. And even though this family will never forget the fear of that day, they will also remember the goodness. One very evil person and, uh, and, and hundreds and hundreds of really good people that despite not knowing each other, we're, we're taking care of each other. And, and, uh, so, you know, amidst all that, 
all, all the darkness, like there was still light out there. Judy Slate, MTN News. A heartbreaking story, but glad to hear that they're all okay. Moving on to the pandemic, doctors say the COVID fatigue mentality continues across the country. People tired of the pandemic after about two and a half years, especially when it comes to staying updated on the COVID vaccine. Ashley Glass spoke to doctors and families about the ripple effects of not getting boosted. Don't think so. <laughs> For me, it was an easy, I'm getting it. Mom Lindsay Ackerman didn't play games with the COVID vaccine when it first came out. She was among the first in line, partly because she works at an assisted living facility. She also got her first booster shot right away. And because of her job, she was just offered a second booster. This time I declined, I think for several reasons. One, I'm just tired of getting a vaccine booster, whatever, I'm just over it. That mentality is something experts like Jessica Steyer with a doctorate in public health are hearing a lot. In the very beginning, um, folks were, we were all kind of like united in our fear of this this unknown virus. And then as things have evolved, there's been a shift away from um, this sense of um, individual responsibility. Are people staying updated with their boosters? No, they are not. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reports about 67% of Americans eligible for a COVID vaccine have gotten the entire primary series. And just about half of those people have gotten their first booster shot. It dwindles more for the second booster, where people 50 and older or immunocompromised are eligible, down to roughly 26%. So I think that there's this false sense of security that, oh, it's evolved, now it's no worse than the, than the common cold or the flu, but that's really not necessarily the case, and we can't predict um, future variants. Steyer says in the short term, not getting boosted puts a person and those around them at greater risk of infection or even reinfection. Long term, she says staying up to date with booster shots impacts long COVID. We're seeing that the vaccines and the boosters are preventing that, and then if you have long COVID, they do help resolve some of those symptoms. Dr. Larry Bush, an immunologist who's worked extensively on COVID vaccine trials tells us another long-term effect to consider is that getting boosted moves everyone closer to a true endemic stage. The more the virus gets to replicate in a person as it's active, the more chance of a variant that may be very aggressive or that the vaccines have no effect on. So our advice is if, it, if, you're, if it's available to you, it's a good idea to get it now. It's your turn. Lindsay says she'll keep waiting. So will her family and consider it a win that they've stayed COVID free so far. You know, I just want us to, you know, be able to move on with our lives and not have to live in fear. Reporting in South Florida, I'm Ashley Glass.